This time I want to go over something that I learned on the last test that I was doing. And that was using this cheap blue housing. And we learned that this thing is very flimsy and it's not reliable. But anyways, I did do some tests on this, um, trying out the different functions of the charge controller here, which is mainly the MPPT, which is the maximum power point tracking ability. This MPPT function is very useful, but it is not the most efficient. By default, this is programmed to do a power sweep every three minutes. But with Hydro, there's no need to do additional sweeps if you already established a point. By tracking your input voltage that is displayed and setting it to manual mode, I was able to do much better than having it automatically sweep because while it does a sweep you're actually losing power and it takes a few minutes to find that point and regain your full power. The other thing I found is that on occasions it would not get to the same point. It wouldn't find the maximum power point. It would actually be lower than the previous ones. So it's not consistent. Even though our water is consistent, the unit itself isn't. Now let's go take a look at those tests and see for ourselves. Okay, we got the Midnight Classic set up. And let's fire it up, bring it up to 46, down to 46. We try to keep it uh, up a bit. Get a little better angle on that and this other board here so I'm getting too much water splashing out of there. My input voltage is 110 and the watts 151 according to this one and obviously mine shows uh, about 12% less. We want to see about, I think it's around, uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, I just missed it. It was about 200 watts. There it is, see? Let's see if it keeps it right there. I was dropping too much again. It's 45 volts, should be higher. But there is not at its best. It's been better before. Let's see if that's, uh, that's what was going on here. It's 68.5. So if we go to the uh, menu, we go to the mode, and we go to the setup, see so it's set to 60. 62.8 and that's where it's at so once I change that value and right there I have it in manual mode which is exactly where I want it and my voltage as we can see here at that voltage is doing a lot better than it was doing on its own so I think if we lower it some more I think a 58 is where we uh, we did the best last time let's try that Let's see if it holds it right at 58. So we'll hit enter here to confirm. See, it just sent the data. So this should go to 58 now. Let's see if it does listen to me. It's 
still not listening. Listen a little. Oh, come on. The one is 84. 14, yeah, 14 amps. 200 watts here. But we can do better if we're able to lower this voltage. Let me uh, cycle it on and off again. See if it'll uh, if it takes effect. Set up. Now let's go back here and we'll just turn it off. And turn it back on again and see if it takes effect. If we go into the setup, we can see our voltage set to 58. Go back home. Let's see if it drops down to 58. I want to see 58, man. Keep dropping. No. All right. Well, I listened a little bit, but not quite. And if it doesn't lower my voltage, my uh, power's not going to go up to the 200 we had. still holding up there so I wonder if this thing is um, it's got um, power here it's saying that there's 60 volts there that last time too and right here we have 61 volts 61.1 and it says it's 60.3 hmm interesting so whatever I said that to it feeds the power back to here that's the input not the output yeah I don't understand why that volt this voltage is there I mean I know there's no volt it's feeding voltage back to those leads not sure why here relay is clicking in there Battery voltage is really low right now because we drained it with that uh, water heater. See, 62. That's what I just said to 62. So we just set to 62. So let's, um, so we don't have to power cycle it. We just have to, I guess, turn the uh, power down. We'll also try since I removed the capacitor. Maybe that was confusing it. Uh, see if it will do it on the fly. So let's bring our pressure back down six forty six. Maybe we can go higher. One eighty. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna bring it up to see if we'll do it in the plane out that the capacitors uh go on from there. So we'll go to the hydro and we'll do the setup. And we'll change that volt, we'll increase that voltage to uh, maybe 65, well, let's go 66. 66, enter. And yeah, let's go back and see if it, it lines up to 66. And maybe it takes a little bit to respond, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. This is 62. I'm going to see it go to 66. Do we have to turn it off? Do we wait? What are we going to do? No, it's not. It's not doing it. Okay, well, let's at least lower this voltage here. See if it goes up to 66 is what we want now. Right now the voltage is 62. Still at set to 62. Start again, see if it goes to 66. Oh, 
here. Yeah, I wish I knew there was a way to get it to switch over. Uh, voltage is dropping. Uh, let's see if it goes to 66 now that the voltage started dropping. There's some clicking going on in there, on and off, so I'm not sure what it's doing internally. Let's see, let's see if it jumps to 66 now. Yeah, it just did. So it takes a, it takes a little while to uh, take effect. I'm getting there. 66 volts, it's got it uh, at about 190. So it should be higher now. I thought it was 58, at least in this one, it looks like it's, it'll be higher voltage. So we can get a little more out of it. We're only at about 190 on my gauge here. And we want to see just over 200 is what we want to see. So let's increase it another uh, four volts and see what it does. So that's the 66 I set it to. It's, it's funky the way it holds that input voltage that I set it to. Um, so it's back feeding somehow into that. So let's uh, go into the setup here and change that voltage to, let's go to, I guess, 70 and see if, uh, if we get it. Okay, 70 now, save. Sent. Okay, go back to the main screen. I'm not sure how long it takes to take effect. I figure it was dropping. I couldn't see if it was going to drop or something. But rising, it should rise easily as soon as I power it up, but it doesn't. Okay, now it started dropping. So now that I started dropping, maybe, maybe it'll take effect. Let's see. It was up to 70. All right, so it climbed all the way up to 120. So, looking at 70. 70. I did. Okay. So, it made it down to 70. Here it is over 200 on this one. And we want to see 200 on this one. 195. Okay, about 197. Let's see, we go, go up another 4 volts. Okay, we just hit it 74. I'm going to let it run since my batteries are pretty dead anyway. Uh, and see if it, uh, it will switch over minutes later it's still not changing it's still holding at 70 so we'll have to uh, at least turn the, the generator off our power is pretty good though we're getting close to the voltage that we want it's 198 on this one here and over 200 on, on here all right so i'm gonna see what happens it up from the main valve and and start from here see if it shoots right up to the 198 we had um actually it might even shoot up higher if this switches over to 74 it's still set at 70. Yeah, it doesn't seem to take effect unless this voltage starts dropping, but it's weird. It's weird that it doesn't. I'm not sure what causes it. So I'm going to start it back up again and see what it does.
the air is uh, worked its way out of there. And they jump right straight right back up to um, well close 192, 193. This is still holding at uh, 70. It has a switch summer to the 74 I changed it to. So it's gonna get more than uh, the 190, right at 194. moving here, I wanted to see if this jumped right back up without having the uh, MPPT charger uh, dance around for nothing. And so that way, no need to search the uh, maximum power point if we know what that setting is, because that way it just won't be dancing around. It'll just... Um, Go straight to where we set it to. All right, I'm just waiting for this thing to jump up to 74. So we'll give it a little bit without power. It still says 69.6, .6, which is a 70. 70, still, still at 70. Well, let's do one thing. This is quicker. Turn it off. And back on. Yeah, I want to see it at 74, see if we're able to get that, um, like 202 that we were getting out of it before. And this is 14 volts at the end. So let's open it up and see if it jumps to 74. It starts high. And it's set to 74, so it's should set all at 74. Really close. Uh, that's pretty good. That's almost 200 right there. 219 on this one. Set to 74. It's too bad that it, uh, you have the kind of power cycle in order to take effect. I wish it was on the fly. You'll find that point. Yeah, that's my 200 that we were looking for, see? And the MPVT wasn't doing that for me. It was, uh, that's in around 178. That's what I want to see, my 200. So we're doing better than the MPPT itself. When we had the MPPT on, the unit was running about 180 watts. I noticed that um, at times it would go up to 200 watts and I tried to look at that voltage and I knew I would be able to hold it at that because it was showing that it was capable of the 200 watts. By setting the voltage myself, right now it's 74, we're really close to it and we're getting 200 watts. We don't have to worry about that thing dancing up and down fixing it to a set voltage we're able to get um, the right power right from the get-go right from the start without having to worry about the uh, MPPT trying to find that point.